Hey, welcome back to uh, Sound of the Underground, and I'm here back with a new review. Um, this time it's Ken Ishii's uh, Inner Elements. Um, it came out in 94, and uh, so what are my first impressions about the album? First of all, uh, what is interesting about the album is that uh, four of the songs on Inner Elements is are actually songs that were on uh, on his '93 album, um, "The Garden on the Palm," and. Uh, and then the rest are like additional songs. Um, they, with with uh, "Garden on the Palm," there were only seven songs on the on the album, but uh, with uh, "Inner," with uh, "Inner," um, "Inner Elements," uh, uh, it first of all starts off with encoding. As the first song the last song is decoding and uh, when I first heard it I I thought uh, you know this is a good song encoding uh, but then it ended like at a, only a minute and 11 seconds long which and then it goes into the second song um, which was well, I guess it wasn't disappointing. I, I just wish I uh, I could have heard more of encoding. It was a good um, uh, song, but very short. <laughs> so uh, the four songs that are on inner um, inner elements are that are uh, also on. Um, uh, Garden on the Palm. Uh, first of all, there's Garden on the Palm. That's the one first song. Um, and the second song, there's Loop. And the third one is QF. And uh, the fourth song is... Uh, uh, let's see. What is it? So QF... Garden on Palm, that's two. Then there, okay, and then there's Sponge and Loop. Um, out of those four songs, uh, Garden on the Palm is is really good. Um, Sponge is like Coco Moose, um, which is off of his. Um, it's like an early version of uh, Kokomus, and uh, uh, which is off of his Jelly Tones uh, 95, 1995 album. Uh, and then uh, Loop. Loop is the second track on uh, on Ken Ishii's uh, 1993 album. So, and this inner... Inner Elements album, it was put out in 94, and so the new tracks on the album are Encoding and Decoding. Uh, Decoding is the last track on the album, which is kind of like a trip-hop um, song, very downbeat. Um, the second song off of the album A F I A C is is pretty good. I mean, it, I I've noticed that with Ken Ishii albums, I'm well in general that he likes to use a lot of um, uh, treble. Uh, there's a lot of treble in in his songs, and not not a lot of bass. And I I kind of like the the bass sound you know, as a, as a, um, layering of the song, but, uh, 
anyway, it kind of sounds like it's, uh, I mean, the album was from 94, and it sounds like it's an early drum and bass album, but uh, of course, I, yeah, it, it is techno music, but um, I can hear elements in the songs off of the inner inner elements <laughs> that sound like drum and bass. Um, although it is techno music, uh, let's keep that straight. And uh, let's see, um, Twist of Space is pretty good. I mean, it it kind of like the beat twists around, and given the name, and um, it's okay. Uh, QF is, of course, off of the 93 album, um, Garden on the Palm. Flurry is okay. Um, the one thing I want to say about AFIAC, the second song off the album, it sounds, I was kind of, you know, trying to imagine what, where is this song taking me? And I kind of thought about like Samurai uh, fighters, fighters uh, swinging their swords, and so it kind of, kind of sounded like that. Um, uh, let's see, pneumonia or P N E U M A. I don't know if the P is silent, but uh, I think that was actually a single that he put out. And it was actually also maybe supposed to be on the first album in '93, which was the Garden on the Palm. But it's a it was a single that he put out, and uh, before this album came out, and uh, in '94, uh, Sponge is like I said, it, it's um, it's like Coco Moose, uh, early version of Coco Moose. Uh, Radiation Zero Three is a pretty good song. At the very end of the song, it you can hear the the song kind of go up in beats per minute, like it, he the intentionally uh, um, you know uh, made the song go from let's say it was like. Uh, 130 beats per minute and it gradually goes up to 140 within uh, 10 seconds um, but uh, radiation 03 I actually enjoy that that's it, it was a five minute 51 second song and uh, I like that one a lot loop of course it, it, it is a good song loop which is off the 93 album um garden of the palm and uh uh the one song that i really enjoyed on this album uh inner elements is uh fragments of yesterday it's it's a 10 minute song 10 minutes and 16 seconds seconds and uh it gradually builds over the 10 minutes and there's it, it just develops into a really nice song and i actually between uh, around six minutes it the there's a new element that comes in to the song which which really enri enriches the song even more before and before that i i i up to the six minute mark i i think it's a really good song Frag fragments of yesterday i i would have to say that fragments of yesterday is the best song on this album and it, it is it is a song that did not exist before um before uh you know this album came out uh and i have to praise um praise that song because it, it it is really good uh and then right after that is kala k a l a that's a nine minute and 20 second ambient song um 
not much not not a lot going on in that song but after after that 10 minute song there's a nine, like a 9 minute ambient song which kind of lets you calm down after the 10 minutes of uh in amazing uh um beats <laughs> so and, and then of course at the end after Kala is decoding, decoding's the last song, and, and in my mind, I, I thought it sounded like, um, it sounded like uh, a trip hop song. Um, and so yeah, so overall, I think this album was okay. I. I'm not a big fan of when when artists uh, like to recycle material or recycle songs and take a song from an earlier album and put it onto the next album. So in a way, this is almost like a compilations album, but but um, out of the four songs that that were that were existed before this this album um i i think that the three songs that he, they left they decide to leave off this album were actually pretty good um and that is uh uh let's see One second uh, garden So it is uh, oh, Garden on the Palm. Let's see. Can Ishi. So um, the three songs that they left off, um, Inner Elements, is uh, n number one, Prodrome, Prodrome, which is a really good song. It's the one that you, you, you feel like you're going through a, a tunnel. And then Nil, N-I-L, that's a, another really good song that is not on uh inner elements and and then the third song is pop gun which uh i said before that uh it it's probably the most uh, club club uh clubby song or you know a, a song that the dj would play at um at a discotheque and dance club um so yeah um overall i mean i gave garden on the palm a solid eight so inner elements uh given that like i said i'm i'm not a a big fan of uh um when artists uh recycle tracks and put them on new albums uh so with that given uh so you know the the album in 93 uh garden on the palm it only had seven songs which is which is okay i mean with techno music there's albums that are you know only three three songs on an album um uh and like for instance orbs um 92 album had seven songs of uh, seven or six songs they're their orbs uh little little album uh palma fritz had only six songs i believe anyway uh so 
So I, what I think Ken Ishii was trying to do, or maybe it wasn't Ken Ishii, uh, maybe it was uh, just the, the, the record label trying to bring like all these songs, early songs, uh, and make an album out of it. Um, and I think that Ken Ishii intended it, this inner elements to be a full on album. Um, the record label is RNS Records, which is from Belgium. And, uh, and so I, you know, the, the rating I would give it, I would probably give it uh, 7.9 because I honestly like Garden on the Palm um, more. Uh, this this album is good if you like the four tracks that they, they included. And 